Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Danny. I'm a former D1 baseball pitcher and I am a student at Columbia University. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how I um, improved from a D3 prospect to a D1 prospect uh, during high school. Alright, so to give you guys a little bit of context, in the spring of my junior year in high school, I was sitting about 80 miles an hour and I was getting no offers. Um, and then early in the summer, I started getting some D3 offers. And then in September, I was sitting 85 miles an hour. I was touching 88. And at that time, I had some D1 offers. And, you know, I, I committed to play for Columbia, which is a D1 school. So this is just about how I went from having, like, no offers and, you know, being a D3 prospect to getting D1 offers and playing D1 ball in just one summer. All right, so the first and most important thing that I did was I changed my mindset dramatically. Um, I think this is really crucial that you know you guys do, um, especially as a baseball pitcher. My goal was to start throwing harder, and I made that really obvious with me and my coaches um, that you know everything I was going to do from here on out was in order to start throwing with you know higher velocity. To help me with this, what I did was I started setting goals. So. Like I said, I was sitting 80, give or take, and I was hitting about 83 or 84. My first goal was to hit 85. I worked until I could hit 85. Then I said, now I want to hit over 85. I want to hit 86. It worked until I hit 86. Then my next goal was I want to sit 85. And eventually I was able to do that. So you just, you guys need to make tangible goals that you can achieve. Um, and they should be short term. So even though long term I wanted to throw harder, the way that I was going to do that was start by trying to hit 85, then get over 85, then sit 85. Um, so yeah, I think that's the most important thing that I started out doing. All right, with that in mind, you guys need to start trying to throw every time. Every time you're throwing, throw you know with the mindset that I'm doing this in order to start throwing harder. So when you guys play long toss, stretch out as far as you can. When you guys pull in, throw as hard as you can. When you do flat grounds, throw hard. When you're doing bullpens, start throwing hard, you know? Every time you're throwing, you should, you know, have it in, in your head like, hey, I'm trying to throw harder now. Um, that's the goal, that's the purpose, that's why I'm throwing today. And when you start throwing like that, your arms gonna get a lot stronger, your body's gonna start moving better, and uh, the velocity will, will come for sure. All right, so another thing that goes along with the point that I just made is that you need to make it clear to your coaches that your goal is to start throwing harder. So when you're throwing flat grounds or you're throwing bullpens or you're playing long toss, you need like you need to be throwing as hard as you can. It shouldn't be about hitting corners. It shouldn't be about working on your changeup command. You know, it needs to be about how hard can I throw. There, you should, someone should have a radar gun. You should be keeping track of your progress, um, and you really need to make that the focus of of every time you throw with your coach. You know, knowing that with your coach there to guide you. A huge issue that I ran into for years, every time I threw a bullpen, it was, you know, three fastballs inside, three fastballs outside, change-ups outside, you know, it was just always, com the command was always part of it. And when I, you know, when I focus on increasing my velocity and I got rid of those spots, you know, it was just throw this curveball as hard as I can for a strike. My velocity went way up. When it was just throw a fastball as hard as I can in the strike zone velocity goes up. So um, I think that's really huge and super important. With that too, start throwing all of your pitches as hard as you can. I don't think it'll do you any good to only work on throwing a really hard fastball and you know not not doing this not having that same attitude with your changeup or your slider or your curveball, etc. Everything needs to start being thrown harder. Your whole body's gonna move better. Um, and it's just going to be become you know part of the way that you throw. It's just all going to be harder. And then once you've increased that velocity to a point that you're satisfied with, or when it's game day, um, or the week leading up to a big start, then you can start you know focusing on your command. Now that you've worked on your velocity for the past few weeks, and now you have this big start or showcase that's important, work on your command. Try to find that. All right, the second biggest um, thing that helped me tremendously was the way that I was working out. I started working out to get stronger rather than getting bigger. My focus was moving weight. 
I think a good way to go about this is to try to move as much weight as you can each set with rep ranges between three and eight. Um, you know, you could go, if you're working at three days a week, it's like these three days I'm lifting, all my lifts are in, are with eight reps. Next week, they're all with five reps. Next week, they're all with three reps or whatever. Mix it up. But I think that's a good rep range to work on your strength and not so much hypertrophy or muscle building and, and increasing your size. That's what I did. I'm not a expert in weightlifting. That's what I did. It worked out really well for me. Another thing I have to add about uh, working out is that I never, like I tried going to Cressy, I tried going to Body by Boil. Um, those, I hated them. In my personal opinion, I really didn't like them. Um, I have tons of friends who love them, but it did not work out for me. I really didn't enjoy going there. What worked for me a ton was just going to the gym, local gym, or my high school gym even, with friends after school. Um, we'd push each other. You know, we got to listen to our own music. We worked out on our own time. We did our own workouts. Um, and, it, you know, it was more fun that way, I thought. And we really pushed each other and held each other accountable and got a lot better. So, you know, you guys can try those big name brand programs if you want. It's a lot of money. And um, I just, yeah, I didn't like it. So, you know, it's up to you guys. The workout program that I used that I've had a ton of success with and that I really enjoyed doing was Alpha Destiny's Novice Program. I'll link it down in the description, but I really recommend you guys check that out. Um, it's a full body, three day a week program. Um, I loved it, me and my friends did it, and both of us saw uh, a ton, ton of results with it. So yeah, I highly recommend that. All right, to add to my point about lifting to get stronger and not heavier and not bigger, um, I think like there's this kind of bad mindset among athletes in high school and even in college that like being bigger is makes you better when it's like if your focus is on getting bigger it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be lifting more weight right um, i found myself in this bad trap where i was gaining a ton of weight and my my lifts weren't going up that much like what i had like my lifts weren't impressive at all but i was gaining tons of weight I just think like if you look at pro pitchers, guys who are the best in the world at pitching, they're like 185, 195, 205. They're sitting low 90s and you know, yeah, they're the best in the world. It's like if you're 185 or above and you're not sitting low 90s, like I don't think that you guys, you, you need to be focusing on getting heavier. Um, I think your, your main focus needs to be how much weight can you lift given you know, your body weight. So, and if, if your weight in the gym is increasing, how much weight you're moving, each exercise is increasing, I think inevitably your body weight is also gonna be going up as well. Um, but I just think, yeah, having the mindset that like you need to be heavier to, to throw harder, I just think it, it can be kind of toxic and it can lead you down, you know, a path that's just gonna get you heavier, but you're just fatter. Like you're not building it much muscle, like you're just a little bit fatter. Um, you know, yeah, I don't think it's a, it's a good way to think about the gym. I think you should be thinking about just getting your your weights all, you know, your, your lifts all up, getting your strength higher, for sure. So something that helped me do that was I, I just used an app on my phone. It was called Strong, um, and I just tracked. Basically, I put in my workout, and I just, you know, it has you put in the weight and the reps that you do for each exercise. It keeps track of it. If you guys don't have that app or whatever, it costs money, I don't know, just write it down in, in a journal, what you're doing, how much weight you're lifting, how many reps you're doing. And every time you go back to the gym and you re, you're, you're doing the exercise again, just try to beat what you did last time. And over time, if you're just continually beating what you did last time, you're just getting way stronger over time. Um, yeah, I think that's the best way to go about it. All right, so my last point about weightlifting is to be honest with yourself. And if you're working out with all your friends and they're all stronger than you, don't just don't ego lift, don't do what they're doing just to look cool, look good with them or whatever. Um, you gotta be honest with yourself, lift what you can, push yourself as hard as you can, you know, try to really try to try to get stronger, get better, but don't ego lift, stay within yourself, have good form and you know, the strength will come over time. All right, the third main uh, topic of this video, I guess, is to get access to a good pitching coach. 
And the most important thing about the pitching coach that you're seeing is that you're getting results with that coach, that you're learning new things that actually feel good and that, you know, give you tangible results. If your pitching coach doesn't have a radar gun, you, know, you don't know how, how much harder you're throwing, you know, each session or over a few, you know, week long period. It's like, like why, like you, you need to see things increase. You need to see your velocity increase in order to know that you're throwing harder. Um, so the first and most important thing is that your pitching coach is giving you results and that you're seeing these results. The second biggest thing is that I think this is kind of optional, but I think it's, you know, it's second, it's definitely secondary to seeing results. But if your pitching coach throws similarly to you or used to when they played, that'll help you out a lot. For example, my pitching coach, I'm a lefty, he was a righty, but besides that, we were both kind of like three quarters sidearm throwers and he had had a lot of success in his career throwing that way he had a, he, he had a ton of knowledge with his own body and how how that sort of throwing motion works that he could tell me teach me i could implement it into my game and it worked out really well so it's just it's just kind of it's better i think to have a pitching coach who throws like you because they know what it's like to be in your shoes and they know what it's like to throw the way that you do and they can help you a lot better that way but Nonetheless, if your guy doesn't throw anything like you and you're seeing results with them, who cares? Like, that's fine. I think that's what's most important. All right, last topic um, is your mindset again, but it's kind of like once you start seeing some results, you really need to feed into it. Um, basically, in high school, like right when my velocity started to increase a little bit, um, I started, you know, brushing a few fastballs past some hitters and stuff. You know, one teammate of mine says like, hey dude, it looks like you're throwing harder. Boom, right there, you really need to feed into that. Let that boost your confidence a ton. Um, and tell yourself like, dude, like I'm getting better. What I'm doing is working. I'm, you know, I'm throwing harder. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm blowing kids away in the batter's box. And just feed into that. Really try to boost your own confidence. Really try to feed into it all and just get better. And, you know, have a, have a better mindset, more confidence. Um, not only is that going to help you, like when you're facing hitters, just telling yourself like, dude, I'm getting so much better. I'm throwing so much harder than I used to be. Like, I'm so good now, whatever it is, but it's also going to look better to coaches because when you're confident, whether you know, you know it or not, you're going to carry your, yourself differently on the mound. Coaches are going to see that. They're going to notice that. Um, and you're just going to come across as a you know, much more confident pitcher and a much better pitcher overall. I just think if you think back to the last pitcher that you faced as a hitter or just as a team in general who threw like gas or they're really good or that, you know, they're like, a, you know, Vanderbilt commit or whatever it is, you know, just think about the way that they carried themselves. And I like, I guarantee you, like they were confident, maybe they're a little bit cocky, whatever it is. It's like, you need to feed into that. You need to tell yourself you're getting good and make others around that, around you feel that you're, that you're good and that you, they owe you some sort of respect. Um, and there's a huge difference between like being really cocky and arrogant and a shitty teammate. Don't be that guy, but just be confident. Be the guy that like everyone wants on the mound. And when you're on the mound, people are afraid to hit off you and your team just feels good knowing that you're on the mound. That's the guy you want to be. You don't want to be like this cocky, annoying, shitty teammate that like nobody likes, even though you're good. It's just like, oh dude, this kid fucking sucks. You know, you don't want to be him. Be the guy everyone likes, be the guy that everyone knows is going to win a game. Um, so yeah, that's the last point. So basically, your mindset, tell yourself you're trying to throw hard, work out to gain strength, um, find a good pitching coach, and once you start getting better, feed into it, get really confident, and just work off that. All right, guys, so there's the video for today. Leave any questions you have in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Remember that that there's that link in the description to Alpha Destiny's Novice Program. And um, yeah, please like the video and subscribe for more uh, videos. More videos will be coming out this summer for sure. My semester just ended, so now I have a lot more free time on my hands to make some videos. So hopefully I start posting more regularly. But all right, guys, thanks.